examples that we're looking at this time are to show you how we can see very low light fluorescent images. These are in fact basic yellow 40 on cyanoacrylate which traditionally is very bright and very easy to see. But the samples that I have here today are about 15 years old. So they were treated a very long time ago and the fluorescence is extremely faint compared to when it was originally treated. So if we look under white light here on the screen, we are looking live at the moment, we can see that under normal white light, we really don't see anything at all. And normally with fresh cyanoacrylate, you can see something, you can see a little bit of it because the cyanoacrylate is usually fairly heavy when it's brand new out of the chamber. But this time we're not seeing anything at all. Now we're using LEDs as a light source. The LEDs are in a circle, so they're giving me a really even illumination. I'm not having to hold the light guide in one particular area to try and see my fluorescence. So we're now going to add our filter and change the color of the light into the blue with the 476 filter on the light source. If we now adjust our brightness a little bit, you can see how easily we start to see extremely weak fluorescence. If we move this around on my bag, I would be struggling with my eyes to look through goggles now to try and see this fluorescence because I'm only going to see in low light from well, really a little maybe from the centre of your eyes, from the corners of your eyes is where you see the most in low light conditions, but that of course is actually in black and white as opposed to in colour. So if we move this around, we can actually see that we have lots of fingerprints here, using this as a light source for searching. So wherever we find our fingerprints, it's simply a case of make sure the surface is flat. Remember, depth of field is very limited with macro photography. So once we find the area that we're looking for, we want to flatten it to make sure it's in focus. Adjust the focus nice even illumination for our fluorescence. We can simply capture the image and we can sit here in daylight with the lights on without needing to wear any goggles. So we have the image here in colour. We can simply drop it into grayscale. We can invert it And if we use the standard fluorescent tools in the software, visual superglue, but we're going to look at fluorescence, which is here, and a standard fluorescence, so it's not particularly bright. This is a much duller fluorescence. We can click on to an enhance function, which will then brighten the background, bring up the blacks in our fingerprint impression just our histogram and we have our weak fluorescent image.